it is November 1st and I have an exciting announcement to make. I'm going to be doing National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo, for the very first time this year and I am so excited! If you're not familiar with NaNoWriMo, basically it is a writing challenge with the goal of writing 50,000 words, the first draft of a short novel in the month of November. I've been wanting to do NaNoWriMo for years, literally years, but it's just never worked out. Particularly as a college student and a grad student, with the end of the semester coming up, finals week, it wouldn't have worked. It just wouldn't have worked. But now I am no longer a student, at least for the moment, and while I figure that balancing the writing project with a full-time job will definitely require some work, at least it's not the sort of thing that gets really intense at the end of November. I'm so excited, and I have a plan for how I'm going to make it work in terms of balancing working 40 hours a week and writing a novel in a month. I recently bought this notebook. As you can see, it is pretty big, and I'm not going to write the entire novel in it because, yeah, like most people nowadays, I type faster than I write. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to work with me. And then when I have my lunch break, I can take some time to jot down even just a scene. And then when I get home at the end of the day, I can type that up and then just keep going. What I'm hoping is that that will get me going and then I can just keep writing until I've met that day's writing goals. I know a lot of advice that I've seen seems very geared toward morning people. Get up an hour early or half an hour early, do as much writing as possible before you go to work, and then just be done with it for the day and relax when you get home. That is not going to work for me. I have so much respect for those of y'all who can get up earlier than you have to, but I am a night owl. Currently, I have to get up between 7 and 7.30 in order to be at work on time, which is not too bad, but the idea of pushing that back to like 6 or 6.30, no, no, absolutely not. And late night tends to be when I'm at my most creative anyway. The other thing I wanted to talk about is how this will affect the YouTube channel, and the answer is not very much, really, because I have a secret weapon. I have a time turner. No, just kidding, I have the ability to pre-record videos. So everything you see from this point on until the beginning of December is not filmed a week or two ahead of time, but more like a full month ahead of time. So what you will probably see is that there will be videos twice a week through November, just as usual, Mondays and Thursdays, but then when you see me again at the beginning of December, my hair will be different, probably a lot longer, because I cut it in early October, and then I filmed most of the videos for November in early to mid-October. It's actually growing out a little bit now. This is actually the last one that I'm filming of the November videos, with just one other exception. In any case, I am so excited to get going. I've been writing off and on for basically my whole life, literally since elementary school. In any case, I've had this idea that I've wanted to work on since, like, the summer. But between interviewing for jobs and moving and all kinds of other, you know, just, it was a busy time. So instead of writing it then, I wrote it down and I was like, I'm going to save this for November. I'm going to do it finally. And I'm going to do it. In any case, y'all will see me twice a week in November just as usual, but I will see y'all at the beginning of December with an update on how it went.